Hey, Astro 3.0 dropped yesterday, and I think the coolest thing about it is the View Transitions API. It's like a built-in animation library. It's beautiful. I've seen it in no other framework, and here's how it works. Okay, let's navigate to the hosted development page, which is already insanely fast. It's a star contrast to Next.js, and this is a very simple application. We can only switch between two pages, and if I zoom out a bit, you can see the only thing that really changes is the position of the image. It goes from the top on the main page page to the bottom on the other page. And that's not really significant, right, Josh? What the hell is so cool about that? And to find out, let's first take a look at what Astro really is. Whereas Next.js is a single page application, which means when we navigate between pages, the content is not hard reloaded, Astro is a multi-page application that makes passing state between re-renders harder. And it also means that all requests are done completely from scratch. Again, there is no state between page renders. This is a completely independent page of the other one. What the new Astro does is it blurs the line between single and multi-page apps. Let me show you how it does that. Let's go into the layout.astro. It's just like the Next.js layout that wraps our entire app. And I want to show you what this does. So essentially, it's a component that both pages, the home page right here, and the other page I just named other are wrapped in. That is important. So both pages use the code that is included in this layout right here. And we have to add two lines for the coolest feature I think about Astro 3.0 which is called view transitions. We have to import it at the very top and then we put it into our head tag on shared code between any two pages. Now, if I save that, you're gonna notice a massive change on this app when we navigate. You can see instead of hard reloading the page, there are now beautiful fading animations from the top to the bottom goes the image and also the text fades away into the other text. Now, a very interesting behavior lies in the network requests. You remember earlier when all the requests were done completely from scratch when navigating between pages. Well, if I reload the page, you're gonna see all the requests are done. But if we now go through the pages, you can see they are not being completely done again. Instead, only the page that we are currently navigating navigating to is fetched from the network and it maintains state. That means a multi-page application behaves like a single page application just because we added those two lines and have beautiful animations between the pages. There's one really cool thing about the animations I haven't told you yet, and that is you can choose how this is being animated. Currently, there's just fade animations. You can always opt out of these animations for any part and you can always change the animations. So for example, the SVG is what we're animating here. That is rather in this div tag and we can give it a transition name. For example, let's name it Astro dash logo and we can give the same name to the same element that is on the other page and Astro will then automatically know how to properly animate just this div. So let me just show you that. Let's go to the other dot Astro and find the exact same element, give it the same name and save both. And now what you can see is instead of fading, there's a beautiful sliding animation for this div. So we can completely control how this is animated. How cool is that? And we can also opt everything else out of this animation behavior. For example, this slot is just like the children in React where all the other content is then just dynamically inserted here. We can wrap this in a div, for example, and then we can opt out of all the animation. Transition animate, we can say either fade, initial, none, or slide. Let's go with none. And as you can see, the title is no longer automatically animating. This line right here means we opted out of all animations except the ones that are more specific, like the transition name Astro logo that we defined both in the index and in the other page that are more specific than this general line at the very top of the layout right here, resulting in beautiful animations. Now, just reducing Astro to that new change would not do it justice at all. There's a lot of other features like the new image you can use to automatically optimize images just like in Next.js and a bunch of other stuff that is also really cool. You can check that out in the description if you care more about it. I've been having an absolute blast using Astro. It's so fast. It's really refreshing and I would love to hear what you think about it. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.